हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम योर पोलोमी मैम आई एम मैम ऑफ हिस्ट्री नाउ टुडे आई विल स्टार्ट योर न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर टू फ्रॉम हंटिंग गैदरिंग टू ग्रोइंग फ्रू फूड दिस चैप्टर इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑफ हिस्ट्री एंड इन दिस चैप्टर आवर मेजर टॉपिक इज चेंजिंग द वर्ल्ड क्लाइमेट beginning of the farming harding storing the preservation of varieties kind of crops fruits and what are the reasons behind this kind of storage how their lifestyle their whole thing their whole uh, the whole situation of their um, lifestyle their living style has changed and few questions answer regarding this okay here uh, it has uh, two times and so ignore one and okay now uh, starting this chapter basically this chapter is uh, the most important chapter because this kind of change i mean from the beginning of the history from the paleolithic age to the neolithic age it 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 is a uh, new uh, beginning of the history okay why this is the new beginning of the history this this part this change because uh, in the earlier people basically uh, i mean the uh, i mean the ancestors of human they they hunt they hunted right they hunted they they had a nomadic lifestyle they didn't had they didn't have a basic uh, pure kind of lifestyle or uh, they didn't have much rituals they didn't have much customs much practices they did not farm they did not know basically they did not know that how to farm how to tame uh, animals how to grow crops they did not know this they basically when they when they required things they hunted the uh, animals they ate it they gathered it sometimes and they move on they move on place to place they basically travels they basically traveled around the world around the subcontinent continent etc etc now in this chapter we will learn that how this kinds of hunters had changed their lifestyle from this to this settled lifestyle how they did that what was the reason okay now before starting this whole chapter i will basically introduce a new section of history what is this new section of this history see this whole era this paleolithic era to this neolithic era this whole history is basically known as prehistory we can uh, we can uh, divide this whole history into two portion one portion we known as one portion we we can call it prehistory prehistory is this portion and after this neolithic era we call it the actual history and this history is basically known as the ancient history middle history and the uh modern history okay the modern history is uh, like 100 years ago we call it but this prehistory era started before 12000 years okay it's not like one or two years or thousands years it is it started before 12000 years before christ okay you can see this bc before christ now what is this meaning of uh, paleolithic paleo means old and lithic comes from lithos basically those word i mean paleo neo meso this this basically came from greek word okay paleo means stone uh, sorry paleo means old and lithic means stone that means the stone age old stone age and neolithic means the new new era of this situation now you can see how uh, how the how their life gradually changed 
before they lived before they used to live in cave after that they had a settled lifetime in the paleolithic era they hunted animals they gathered some grains or something and in neolithic era in this age they had a permanent settled lifestyle they adopted things they adopted the tamed people they herded animals they raised them they raised crop they built houses they had specialized jobs they had very very complex and imp- uh, and proper tools tools management they created uh, uh, basic some uh, uh, rituals they had mud and brick houses they had settled village settled uh, uh, lifestyle near any r- river or any lake or something so this is a huge change huge important change now coming to the basic topic that the neolithic age okay i mean how they uh begun how they started the farming the herding of the animal basically why it when it started when it started before the i mean around 12000 years ago there were a major change in the whole climate of the world the whole world shift to relatively a warmer condition okay in many areas this is why this kinds of warm conditions this kinds of warm climate this lead this is this year uh, lead to development of various grasslands and whenever there is a grass there is increased number of herbivores herbivores means those survived on grass those used to survive on grass on the uh, herbs right so these what are those animals those animals are deer goat sheep cattle basically those uh, those animals are not harmful right they they can't harm uh, directly to, to the human so they are uh, kind of uh, they can be domesticated they can be tamed right tamed easily sheep can be tamed easily goat can be tamed easy, easily cattle can be tamed easily because they are herbivores so this kinds of uh, i mean this this kinds of animal basically um made i mean this kind of whole not not animal sorry this kind of whole important changing of the em- environment whole environment what did it uh uh what what it led to it basically led to the changing in food habits of the human of the earlier human okay you can see this now this whole climate change leads to ultimately a favorable condition for growing the crops and foods okay now now i mean now after this paleolithic age after a hunting lifestyle and nomadic lifestyle now uh, when they have a favorable condition when they they are having a favorable uh, climate favorable temperature they started to begin a uh, farming and when whenever you are growing something okay whenever you are growing something whenever you are uh, breeding something whenever you are producing something you need to carry this whole bulk product whole bulk thing from one place to another place right so for protection and carrying this whole food bulk or whole thing earlier they need to they 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 required various animals okay 
सो दीज एनिमल्स वेर बेसिकली शीप गोट कैटल पीग एट्सेट्रा सो दे बेसिकली कैरेड सम एनिमल्स कैरेड द फूड लाइक नाउ नाउ इन नाउ नाउ डेज ऑल्सो वी कैन सी दैट इन इन विलेज इन रूरल एरियाज वी कैन सी दिस काइंड ऑफ लाइफ स्टाइल राइट एंड वाई शुड एनिमल विल डू समथिंग फॉर यू दे ऑल्सो नीड फूड ना सो दिस इज वाई दे आई मीन द आर्लियर ह्यूमन दे स्टार्टेड taming the animal taming animal in bengali we call it posh mana mane tader ke khete dewa ebong khete dewar poriborte instead i mean uh, by by giving you you give them food they will work for you okay they will listen to you simply so this whole the situation basically finally leads to a led to a improvement or a settlement of a lifestyle okay now how this overall farming overall herding started how it started see first of all you can see this uh animals there were so many herbivorous animals so they can be uh so they can be tamed easily so now here you may face one important question that is what was the first animal who was tamed so basically the first animal who was tamed is ancestors of wild dog now ancestors of dog or wild ancestors of dog is basically the grey wolf you know wolf na the grey wolf so these animals were uh, encouraged to come nearer camp nearer region like sheep goats pigs they ate the grass so the human or the people they started to live near the grassland so that they can tame the animal whenever they can tame the animal this people protected i mean people protected all these animals from the attack of the other wild animals other flesh eater animals this is how they they started taming the whole this they started taming the whole uh i mean herbivorous animals the dog dogs were not herbivorous but still they uh, used that they used them as the useful animal okay now the beginning of the farming now coming to the point of beginning of the farming see this was a time when several grain bearing or grasses included like wheat barley rice grew naturally in different parts of the subcontinent okay now men women probably collected this whole grains foods and land where they grew where they grew properly and when they ripened not only that when they ripened when so they they started the collecting seeds they started collecting seeds okay now this led to think them now now let's now if i started to collect the uh, seed i now i know how to uh, grow the food and when which fruit basically grows so bas- i will easily uh, i i can easily grow a plant for myself right so same thing happened with them this kinds of uh, knowing i mean when they knew all this thing they knew how to grow the plant so they grew for themselves 
so they uh, so they uh, became the farmer okay and when they saw that this all these uh, products all these plants all this huge amount of uh, i mean plants crops are getting destroyed getting spoiled so they had to store them they had to preserve them okay if if we have a large amount or a huge amount of uh, crops or huge amount of food we usually keep it in the inside of fridge right so this is why we uh, they also started to store it to store it for the near future and when they started storing food they saw that uh, some food some crops are getting destroyed so they started learning how to preserve them so basically again i re i am repeating this one that beginning of farming farming and hardening seriously see there are basic two three points early people found places where the edible plants grew they began to looking after plant they tamed the animals by giving them food and slowly they began all they began to start a settled lifestyle this is the whole summary now this process is uh, known as domestication domestication is basically a uh, domestication is the name given to a process in which people grow plant and look after animal both the things because whenever you have animal they need food they need food right otherwise uh, uh, if, if they if they are not getting food if the animals are not getting food they won't work for you they won't listen to you right so this people i mean the earlier people need the both one they needs to store the grain also they need to look after the animal okay this whole process is known as domestication now in this neolithic age instead of relying on gathering the food or hunting the food these people began to produce to grow the food and also along with the growing of the food they also began to raise the animal what are the first animal they raised the first animal they raised is ancestors of dog these questions basically come okay that what are the uh, what are the i mean uh, animals those were reared or those were I mean, those are used to tamed or those were used to domesticated by the uh, ancestor and i mean ancient people so the answer will be they raised horse dogs pigs cattle goats sheep etc now i uh, already said you that they stored the grain so see how they stored the grain they basically made this whole basket okay the whole jute basket they made clay pots earthen or clay pots they used to dig the pit dig the pit okay to store the, or gather the grain or the surplus amount of uh, grains or the crops so now see how uh, i mean how the lifestyle of the people gradually changing now they had a settled life you can see now they they are uh, making this clay pots they are they are digging the pit to the ground into the ground to store or preserve the food so that it cannot be destroyed 
to preserve the dry fruit uh, dry foods uh, dry foods basically dry foods like wheat foods like barley barley and wheat were the first crops they uh, this they started grow okay now this point is very important because you can see these are the most important archaeological sites of the india this is the uh, ancient india this this whole uh, area is ancient area and in this whole area two three places are important for your exam number one is bimbetika bimbetika is a paleolithic site why paleolithic site because in bimbetika uh, which is now now in uh, madhya pradesh bimbetika we found the cave painting okay the cave painting of the ancestors cave painting of the early human this kurnul place kurnul in southern india this kurnul cave in this cave a uh, human first learned about the fire how fire works right this mehergar mehergar is in uh, today's pakistan this in this mehergar uh, we can find uh, a settled lifestyle first time okay mehergar uh, civilization we call it in this chapter also we will learn about mehergar we will learn about daujali this daujali high cook we will learn this and this is uh, burza home burza home is is, uh, is now in kashmir today is kashmir burza home these all this area is very very important area okay now you see bimbetika i am sharing a very important uh, point of bimbetika that bimbetika is now in in present madhya pradesh this is a very very old site this bimbetika is very very old sites with caves rock shelter people chose this natural caves because they provided this they, they provided shelter from rain from heat from wind and this rock shelter are close to narmada valley narmada is a river okay so that means this this river basically helped them to grow crops so now can you think why people chose to live uh, besides a river river valley you can see this kurnul this is a river this is a river godavari krishna kaveri this is the godavari this is krishna krishna river now also they chose to leave kurnul place why always ancient people choose chose to leave near those river those narmada valley this this is indus this river is known as indus indus river okay because river gives a surplus amount of water and we need water to grow food right to tame the people to sorry to tame the uh, other animals so this is the reason now you need to answer it with skill okay now coming to this important questions first question is why do farmers grow some crops in some areas so farmers do this because different plants grow in different condition different climatic condition okay some grow in winter season some grow in summer season which was the first animal to be tamed to he tamed is that to be tamed okay this is to be tamed 
the first animal to be tamed was wild ancestors in the ancestors of the dog now which animals were considered relatively gentle like those are herbivores right the mentioned two purposes for which grains has to be stored number 1 grains has to be stored for food for preserving for near future and to have the seed what did people do to store people uh, sorry to store grain they uh, made large clay pot wove basket the dug pits uh, into the ground to store the grain name some important sites archaeological sites we have kurnul in south india we have kurnul in south india bhimbetika in middle india that is madhya pradesh in north west india we have kashmir i mean i mean i mean burzam how do scientists help in uh, finding out whether these are discovered basically scientists study evidence of the old animal bones those are find uh, in various archaeological sites name like this two sites of andhra pradesh this this is not important question number 8 is not so important but 1 to 7 is very very important okay now uh, we have this very important short questions how did people become farmers this is a very short question and you have to write it down okay and learn it properly see when the climate of world was changing people observed various places that where the edible plants are found about the seeds about the plants and they started growing their own plants for themselves and thus they became farmers okay how did people became hard become harder harderers okay people saw that they could attract and tame animal by leaving them food by leaving food for them by feeding them okay the first animal to be tamed was the ancestors of dog and they started rearing the herbivores those are sheep cattle etc people often protected this animal from the attack of the other wild animals wild animals means those are the flesh eaters this is how they became a harderers now one more important very very important question from this particular part one that is how did changing the climate affect the whole human life the whole human life these are the answer see the climate of war had major change around 12000 years ago 12000 years ago okay and there was a shift of warm condition grasslands developed in many areas plants and animals also developed in this time humans observed the places where the edible pound uh, plants were found and they wondered how seed broke uh, fell off the ground and new plants sprouted from those particular seed and thus they learned how to farm how to grow crops and they become farmers okay when they became farmer they required some animals and they started taming them by providing food and they also rearing sheep cattle and the grassland and basically the grassland and this uh, changing of the whole climate made grassland proper okay made a proper grassland changing of the whole climate made proper river proper temperature for growing the food and allowed many animal to live on grasses to grow in number so this is how the whole lifestyle of the hunters human had changed to a these hunters these hunters became a farmers now okay so thank you this is a this this whole topic is uh, really very important uh, and today's lesson is bit large 
or a bit time taking uh, you listen this properly if you have if you are having any question on this part one this is part one this is not a uh, whole thing the whole chapter is really a large chapter so it will take uh, it will take time to end but uh, this these topics this important uh, topics are basically changing world how they hardened the uh, animals so these three uh, these two topics and this questions answer are very very important questions answer so you learn it properly and if you have any doubt you mark it uh, on your book or you can uh, uh you can ask me direct on my whatsapp and don't forget to ask your doubt in our gmi class okay so for uh, this i mean for the time being i am switching off the class and thank you for listening bye